Hello, hello. My name is Veronica. If you are new, welcome, if not welcome back. And today we're going to be talking about the truth about affirmations. And sometimes I know in the beginning of my journey when I was doing affirmations, I used to put like affirmations on my mirror and I still do. <clears throat> but affirmations on my mirror or sometimes I just say like positive things to myself but the truth about affirmations and how to properly use them is that affirming is just replacing once I figured this out it really was a game changer for me and how I use affirmations especially to manifest it's replacing your old limiting thoughts with your new empowering thoughts you're already thinking so you're literally just replacing all those nasty negative thoughts or those thoughts that just aren't aligned with your manifestation or aren't aligned with that version of you that you are manifesting or aligning with or they're just disempowering things because you don't want to you know we're in here 24 7 we live with ourselves forever you don't want that to be a nasty place so any disempowering thoughts you're replacing them with new empowering thoughts new self-concept thoughts thoughts that align with your manifestation align with your new desired self right and here's the thing sometimes we do affirmations in the mirror like a couple times like maybe 10 15 minutes a day we say we start our morning say affirmations and then the rest of the day we go back to our habitual state of mind i don't know where i read this but i think it was like more than 75 percent. i think it was like 85 or 90 it was like pretty high um are the same thoughts we had the day before and we have like over like 50,000 thoughts a day it was it's over like i don't know how much and i can actually look it up real quick because i want to know how many thoughts do we have a day let's see because i'm actually curious 60 thoughts so 60 thoughts a day more than half of those we think repetitively over and over and over again and by the way this is why what you listen to music especially matters start paying attention to what those words are what you're programming yourself with the things you're watching on television especially because when you're watching on television you're kind of in a trance um but i totally get it like i won't stop watching television for a little bit and it was tough but if you love watching television, doesn't mean like, oh, stop watching all the shows because it's all trash. No, like at least before bed, an hour before bed, turn off the television, you know, because when you're about to go to bed, you're more trans, you're putting yourself like in a more receptible state and whatever you watch is usually like what you're going to be dreaming about and what you're dreaming about this is coming like getting a little bit out of like affirmations but whatever you're dreaming about like you're it's literally especially it's getting stuck in your subconscious mind basically and especially if you're the type of person that falls asleep while the television is on like just become aware of those things of what the affirmations you're feeding yourself are because that has a lot because once I started becoming more aware of that and I started listening to more I started replacing a lot of toxic low vibrational music with positive music just becoming aware of what I was singing becoming aware of what I'm watching becoming aware of like the things I'm listening to right before bed matter and the reason for this is if we have like 60 thoughts a day and more than half of them are repetitive, that means that you're constantly, constantly like reprogramming yourself, thinking the same thing as you were yesterday. And if you're just saying a couple things and you're usually on autopilot, your subconscious mind is on autopilot usually, and you're just reacting mode most of the time. So if you're just doing your affirmations in the morning saying, you know, I'm a great person, this is a great day, good things happen to me, I'm a lucky person, I am abundance, I gravitate money effortlessly, I get paid to just be myself, all these great things. And then the rest of the day, you're on autopilot and you're just like, you know, things are hard, that's never gonna happen, I hate this, I hate that, like, 
this not me it can't it can't happen to me like is it really gonna happen like why does this always work out like this for me etc like negative thoughts you're literally going back you're you're doing more of the negative than the positive so just become aware and it might take a little bit like the more the I'm like, I've been talking so much today. But the most challenging for myself, at least, when I was reprogramming and whenever I am reprogramming is just becoming the observer. Like, just become the observer. Just listen before you speak. Just listen to your thoughts without being, like, believing them and being absorbed by them. Just observe them. Just be like, hmm, interesting. Doesn't mean it's true. Doesn't mean it's not true. Just listening. And then... Once you start doing that, you start becoming aware. Awareness is key, but it's key. The first part of the key, the second is actually doing something about it. So once you're aware of what you're thinking constantly or what you're saying constantly, what you're reacting to constantly, you're going to become aware of certain things that are habitual, that aren't serving you, that aren't aligned with the best version of yourself or the version or the things or the version of yourself that you're manifesting that aren't they're not aligned so then you can start replacing them you think it okay before you say it think the opposite think the empowering thought think the new belief that you're reprogramming yourself with that's how you reprogram your your affirmations this is how you replace your old limiting thoughts with your new empowering thoughts this is how you do affirming properly and what helps me as well is whenever I'm taking a shower, whenever I'm by water, because we're, I think we're like 70 or 80% water. Um, so water is very potent and very feminine energy as well. Um, doesn't mean that only, is not nothing to do with gender. We all have masculine, feminine energy, but very manifestation thing you can use is water and if you want to manifest faster usually you can do it around water and so especially when I'm like washing the dishes or I'm taking a shower washing my face or just anything by water I have this like app where I can record myself I think it's called parrot I record my affirmations and I just listen to them on repeat at night I kid you not, every almost, I think once a week, I don't listen to it. So like six times a week at night, six nights out of the seven, I am listening to affirmations at night. I'm listening to things that I want to like ingrain my subconscious mind with. And let me just tell you that it's not something that I wake up one day, I'm like, oh, I'm a new person, but it is something that I've seen massive change. Like massive change and is it a coincidence maybe maybe not is it a coincidence that the things i hear at night or the things that i embody more of and the things that i literally catch myself thinking and reacting to an autopilot like without me having to force it it's just like how i think now and things are just much easier for me things are flowing to me much easier i'm more magnetic to certain things and especially the things that I listen to is like I just gravitate those things easily because it's who I am now it's now stuck in my subconscious mind and so same comes for you like whatever you desire just reprogram yourself like what are you talking what are you saying become aware of those things what are you thinking and replace those limiting thoughts with new empowering thoughts it's not like because i know there's some people and i know for myself i went through this too especially if you're like going through the law of attraction or things like that where it's like thoughts create and you're like oh snap like i have to think these positive things and a negative thought comes up and you're like oh i don't want to manifest that i don't want to manifest that but now you're thinking about it a lot because you don't want to manifest it breathe let it go and it's not going to manifest those nasty negative thoughts they're not going to manifest if you don't want them to manifest how i do it is any negative thought that i receive is just my ego it's just old programming and not allowed 
only good positive things, only the good flourishing thoughts that I have are the things that are going to manifest because I am protected, because I am magnetic, because I am my core and love, because you at your core are love, bliss, joy, happiness, abundance, magnetic. That's who you are. Anything else that isn't you, fear-based, you know, negative, low energy, anything like that, is not who you are and therefore you're not going to manifest it and so it is only positive things and then that's how that's literally what i always tell myself like only positive things only positive things only good things and the negative thoughts you might have one because of your ego old programmings but that is okay just neutralize it don't by neutralizing is like don't put like so much energy on oh i don't want it to happen or anything like that just like okay whatever it's normal i'm human it's fine focus on the good and yeah that's pretty much what you do and it might take a little bit sometimes but you will see a massive change and just continue doing continue doing it and even using affirmations alone you can manifest what you desire like if you don't do any other technique and you just want to manifest try that out like try just manifesting something from affirmations alone that would be like a fun game you can do um you can do something small i mean honestly you can manifest anything you desire like go big if you want because you deserve anything and everything you want <laughs> you know the only block here is yourself like and what you limit yourself to get so get whatever you want but if you want to just test it out and you want to start small okay do that you can start small because sometimes that helps you a little bit because it kind of brings the momentum like oh okay that was small and there's no attachment there and it happened like you start building trust so i totally understand that because that's what i did so do like a coffee do someone calling you or texting you or someone like um, telling you something telling you and repeating to you your affirmations that's like the best if someone repeats your affirmations to you without you even knowing like you them knowing what you're saying or what you're doing that's like you're really like oh is that a coincidence or and then you try it again and it happens again and again and again so just affirm affirm what you want what you desire because your word is powerful so affirm oh i'm so grateful that I'm so grateful for my free coffee today. I'm so abundant. Thank you so much. Like, it was so good. I love coffee. I, my coffee tasted so good. Like, this, it doesn't even have to be a specific person that gives it to you if you don't want. It could be anyone. Or if you want a certain person to, t to give you the coffee, you can do that. But anything you want, you know. I'm just so grateful for my free coffee. Oh, I'm so, I'm so grateful for my free coffee. I'm so happy I get free coffee every day. Oh, that coffee was so good that it's free. You know, my free coffee was so good. Wow. I'm so grateful for my free coffee. Like, literally just keep, keep saying that. How come I get free coffee every day? And you can even use empowering questions too as affirmations. Like, how come my coffee was so good? My free coffee was so good. Or how come I get free coffee all the time? Or how do I feel now that I get free coffee? Or um how much more free coffee can i get you know things like that just switch it up switch it up whatever comes whatever flows through your mouth as long as it's empowering and aligns with your manifestation and then just play with it and see how fast you get your manifestation it's so much fun it is so much fun especially when you start seeing things happen and things manifest from your affirmations alone you're just like what? And then you start trying to do something different and something different. And you start maybe doing a little more challenging ones that you have a little bit more of attachment to. But now you know and you trust that it's whatever you desire. And sometimes it may be a little challenging to even believe the concept that like your words are powerful. Because you've been in a state of so much disempowering like around you. Like no, it's not possible. Or no, like you can't do this or this is hard. Like you've been ripped away from that and so sometimes doing that is so it's fun sometimes because you get to really come back to an empowering state and it's humbling and it's fun and you can try it out try some affirmations out try something try to manifest something or not try to manifest manifest something with your affirmations and um 
and then also do a lot uh, I, I usually do self-concept mostly self-concept I do like 80% self-concept and 20% like certain manifestations before bed in the morning whenever I think about it in during during the day but for sure in the morning because you're more receptible you're like in that trance so you're still kind of sleepy so I just say my gratitude I'm so happy and grateful that I you know etc etc my affirmations I just think about them but that's visualization you know I do a couple things with it but um you know whenever I'm in ro around water taking a shower or whatever I say my affirmations before bed I say my affirmations I have gratitude and I affirm I affirm during my gratitude which is so important because you're not only having faith that it's already yours you're vibrating at the same frequency because you're giving thanks to it. You're vibrating higher because you're in gratitude state. And hopefully this helps. I think I said everything I know about affirmations and it really, really helped me when I found out that it literally is just replacing your old limiting thoughts with your new empowering thoughts. Because how I used to do it, it was just me thinking it was just saying positive things and sometimes it was just like yeah it reprograms your subconscious mind but i didn't really grab the concept on how why and why it's so important and how it can really manifest really manifest what you want like affirmations i think once you really get the grasp of affirmations you're going to use this in any technique you want to manifest and you can literally like it's simple because you're already thinking you're already thinking 24 7 so you might as well think in your favor put that energy to go towards what it is that you want hopefully this helped and i'll talk to you all in the next episode bye